My name is Rafał Pracht and I would like to say about using quantum computer to write the derivatives. Ok, let's see the agenda. I will start with a few words about the quantum circuit library. Next, I will describe the classical and the quantum Monte Carlo algorithm and where we can use them. Finally, the implementation of the algorithm will be shown. Quantum circuit is an open source library for working with quantum computer at the application level, especially for quantum machine learning and the quantum finance. The library is also listed in the Qiskit ecosystem. In Julia, we can call the Python library using PyCall or Julia library also. Why should we consider using the quantum cycle? First, we when we use a Python library for quantum machine learning, we cannot use the autonomic differentiation tool provided by Zygot, and we have to use the parameter shift rule, which is much slower. At load, this work only on the simulator and not on real quantum hardware, but on the current state of the quantum system in quantum machine learning, we mostly play with the simulator. And in Yao, we cannot use well-known from Qiskit quantum notation, and from some user, it looks strange. But more importantly, the other library allow you to program on the quantum computer on the assembler level, and more is needed for the perspective of the financial institution. At log, there are um, implementation of the arithmetic function, for example, the quantum Fourier transform header, but you have to do be very careful using it. Let's see this on a simple example. Our goal is to calculate the exponential function using the second order Taylor extension. Here we can see the implementation in the quantum cycle library. But what we should remember if we went to use bar qubit? First, we need twice more precision for the result than the argument. So the decimal point is in a different position in this two quantum register. We have to remember that during the calculation. The divide by two can be done virtually by moving the position of the decimal point in the quantum register without any operation on quantum hardware. But after that, we must remember that the decimal point is in the other pledge for the future operation. Maybe this is not difficult, but is definitely burdensome, especially when we would like to load stochastic differential equation on the quantum computer, and we would like to play, not to play with, with qubit. We'll see later how this is important when we price the div derivatives on the quantum computer. The Monte Carlo method was created by the Stanislav Ulam during the Manhattan project for integral calculation. It is especially useful in multidimensional case for which the complexity of the non-random approach grow exponential manner. The method is quite simple. We generate a random number, then we check if the number is in the functional area. In derivative pricing, the Monte Carlo method algorithm looks similar. We generate the random path of the asset price, then we calculate the expected value of derivatives. Monte Carlo method is broad use in finance. We can use it for uh, portfolio manager, valuatories, risk manager, and many other, other uh, plates in the final. Let's go to the practical example of the using quantum computer final the valuation of derivatives. An option contract is the right to buy or sell share bond or currency for a fixed price on a particular date. There are many types of option contracts, European, Asian, American, and only the simple one can be priced analytically for the other. The Monte Carlo method is used. There is one point to note. We don't try to predict the future when we write the option. And our goal is to find dynamic trading strategy that replicate the value of option at any case of the future price of undering. And we can show that the problem of finding the dynamic hedging strategy can be sol solved by finding the expected value of the future stock price under the risk-free probability measure. But this is not the real probability measure which you can see uh, on the real market. The quantum algorithm looks similar in fashion to the classical one. First, we load the probability distribution um, of the underic asset. Next, we calculate the value of the payoff. It's worth to note that the payoff functions are calculated at the same time for all paths. 
Next, we have to do aggregation of the value and calculate the expected value of the option. The last step is to use quantum amplitude estimation algorithm to extract the option price from quantum computer. Okay, let's see the implementation. One of the most challenging part of the algorithm is distribution widening. Now I show you how we can do this in Julia. We aim to generate the path of asset model with this stochastic differential equation where the volatility depends on the time. Uh, where W is a brown option. The first step of our algorithm is to discretize, discretize this stochastic differential equation using the Euler schema and convert it to logarithm from using the Euler rule. Then we use the quantum Benimor tree algorithm. For each time step, we allow the underling to go up or down depending on the coin toss, up for example for head, a down for tail, and we chose the parameter u and d so that the generated Bernoulli distribution are aggregated with the, the zero to one to the second moment. Okay, now we are ready to see the implementation. First, we run the coin to settings with the hardened gate, uh, we initialize our stock price with the value at time zero, and then for each time step, we generate the uh, volatility and use it to calculate parameter U and D. After the final value of logarithm of stock price is generated, we have to calculate the exponential value of it. It works something that we don't have to remember where the trial point is here. We can simply use the quantum register and the addition function. And finally, we calculate the payoff function of derivative for the call option. For example, we can easily subtract the stock price key and use the sync qubit in the counter operation to choose whenever the option is in the money or out of the money. And this was the main point of creating the library. We went to focus on the implementation of the financial function and not on the play with a single qubit. We can generate a circle with near uh, 30,000 gate with a simple code. So we are ready for the big fault around quantum computer. And any quantum which look at the code which recognize the Benumar tree algorithm and will know how to change it if this will be needed. Changing the precision of the quantum register used in the algorithm is also straightforward without changing anything in the code. So the question is how many asset paths we can load on the quantum computer and the simple answer is many because the Benumar tree method is effective in quantum computer with 167 qubit, we can load more path than there is star in the whole universe. But we should remember that because we use quantum amplitude estimation algorithm, the speed up compared to the classical Monte Carlo is quadratic. And if you want to learn more, I strongly recommend our paper Quantum Benumar Tree and the pricing of American option, as well as see the source uh, on the GitHub repository. And thank you for your attention.